Hi, I'm Katie with your GTV Tech Tip. As stated in a previous video, a capacitor has a similar function to a battery in how they can store and supply an electrical charge. How the two are able to accomplish this function differ greatly. The capacitors store an electrical charge by creating an electrical field with the use of two conductors and a non-conductive material called a dielectric that is placed in between the two. A battery has two electrical terminals that are separated by a substance called an electrolyte. When the anode and the cathode of the battery complete a circuit, the electrolytes have a chemical reaction where an oxide reaction occurs with two or more ions combined with the anode and produces an electron flow. At the same time, the cathode has a reduction reaction where it looks to absorb the electrons produced. Anything connected in the circuit will be powered by this electron flow. To find out more about capacitors, make sure you check out our other videos on GTV.